Interestingly, this area has more bee species recorded than Bodega Bay to the north of here, which is a much more natural area, if you will, with less urbanization. A few years ago, we found 60 species of bees, 58 of which are native. We've done some follow-up surveys now, and we think there may be as many as 80 species of native bees that still survive in the Presidio. That's pretty good. One of the things we wanted to know when we started our surveys was how important the Presidio was as a refuge for insect diversity and spider diversity. We thought because of the unique sand habitats especially that there would be the possibility of some survivors there that were once widespread throughout San Francisco. But we were really surprised at the diversity we found. We found 127 species of spiders so far, which is an amazing number. And so far we found 27 species of ground-dwelling beetles, which is a pretty good number for a place like the Presidio. So we've been looking at beetles and looking at spiders to get an idea of the diversity of both and how they might influence each other in terms of where species are and their interaction with things like butterflies and bees and, and the other creatures in the Presidio as well. We're in a time now where we're losing species faster than we're finding them. And one of the things that we would like to understand is what are the kinds of things we can do to maintain diversity of plants and animals in places like San Francisco and the surrounding areas. The Presidio is a perfect laboratory for understanding that. A lot of uh, unusual organisms here. Some of those species are, are not found in other parts of San Francisco anymore. And they survive sort of on the edge, right at the tip of the San Francisco Peninsula. One of the species that's nearest and dearest to my heart is the San Francisco fork-tailed damselfly. And the, the last remaining population in San Francisco is found on the road out to Fort Point, an area that's 100 meters, 200 meters long. It can still persist there, still supports perhaps uh, 200, 300 individuals of damselflies at any one time. Using this as a good example of what works, Hopefully we can change habitats a little bit in some of the other areas of the Presidio, restore some wetlands that can maintain the species for years to come. <laughs>